CAD 911, please state the nature of your emergency. Hey, in case uh, anybody's missed the, uh, the other videos about this, what I'm going to do, this is AutoCAD, I'm going to draw a 30 foot this way, 20 foot this way building with a 16 inch overhang all the way around. And this end will be 12 and 12. And I need the, uh, the hip valley. This is actually a hip. Excuse me, I'm, I'm a little beat. Worked hard today. Um, it's going to be on a raised wall a certain amount so that um, the 12 and 12 tails where they meet the fascia line are at the same elevation as the 8 and 12 tails. And that's how you do that. You raise the wall of the steeper pitch. Or if you're in Texas, sometimes you will just take the hip to the corner and then these little jack rafters won't have any tail. You, you bobtail them is what we called it. And then you would cut the tail pattern for your 8 and 12 and give it a little bit of extra so that it can nail beside the 12 and 12. And you'd like two down, two in, and a back nail. And usually when you do that, when you do kicktails, you'll do one at the end here and one at the end here. Then you run a string and then you'll make them all follow the string so that uh, everything's correct. Okay, so there's what we're going to do. We're going to do this exact thing in chief really quick, see what happens. Um, this X is actually... Um, tab. 20 feet. It's actually uh, zero, zero. This will be like 30 feet. You know, I need to zoom in. There's 30 feet. There's 20 feet. There's 30 feet. Boom, look at that. It even did all the... I must have a setting. Cause it's doing the sailing joist. See ya. And it's doing the overhang. Overhang area. Uh, so we're going to make... Just to make this thing frame correctly. I use shortcut keys. I make this 8 and 12. And we're going to make this 12 and 12. And then we're going to. open mm -hmm. that looks good Man, I need to know where I get to pick the overhang for this side. I'll make the build roof. Uh, let's see what happens. Mm, no, no. I want to go to roof framing. What is this? Why are we seeing ceiling joists? Okay. All right, so there's some things here that are weird. Right off the bat, um, Chief follows this imaginary line, this single line to this point, and then they figure out that, hey, that's how it's done. Well, let me just tell you right now. Nobody puts the end common half on the ridge and half off the ridge. Even in a 
situation like this, this is completely wrong. So what that means is the uh, if you were to use this as a cut sheet, I think one of the schedules has an option. I don't know if they call it cut sheet. I don't know what they call it. Um, that's a pain. All right. Yes, please. Thank you. So <clears throat> if you were to um, be given a cut sheet and they said, cut your two by 10 as part of the roof, the, the, uh, the ridge was two by 10. I don't know if you remember seeing that it was nine and a quarter. Uh, chief is saying, there you go, but that's not right. Let me show you what right is. Right is like this ridge comes over and the imaginary line goes through right there. <clears throat> so you bring your ridge over to here, up like this. And the reason why that works like that is the common rafter right here is also the same common rafter right here on these two. Like this is all the same pitch, right? 8 and 12 all the way around. And when you look at Chief, the length of this one is a little shorter than the length of this end one. See how the end one? It's too long. So on a common 8 and 12 all the way around, you can take all these common rafters, both sides, plus one for this side, and that's how you get this intersection for your hip to go in. So that's the first thing that Chief is doing wrong. Is I can't get this to come down. There it is. Oh, uh, yeah, I would like to do that, please. I wonder why it asked me every, you know, like, are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, I want to do this. That's why I'm doing it. Um, so then that means this one also comes back to here. And this ridge comes over to here, right there. So it should be 13, 10, and 13. So let's go see what AutoCAD has to say. So 13, 10, and... 9 sixteenths. So I need to look at that imaginary line and see if I'm actually at the right spot. And the reason I can know that is if I take the side of the ridge and come out to over the plate, it's 9 11 and a quarter for a 20 foot span. And this is 9 11 and a quarter to the beginning of this ridge. And then I'd have to. Oh, well, let's just break this out, too. Why don't we just show this off? Where's Excel? All right, so we're going to put this right here. And your span is 20 feet. Ridge thickness, inch and a half. Wall thickness, that's for other calculations. I might as well make that. You know what? It's probably locked. Never mind. I'll fix it when I unlock it. 16-inch uh, overhang, subfascia thickness, 1.5 inches. So technically, uh, your rafter tail stops at 14 and a half. Um, low pitch is 8. High pitch is 12. Hip thickness, rafter thickness, rafter type and height. So these are 2 by 8 rafters. We probably need to make these since we're working in the south 5.5 see how it changed the hot the hap so uh, two by six your hap is going to be just a smidge over four and a quarter now here's the cool stuff i took the calculator and i made it uh work out all these things these are all the actual lengths that you would pull from the long point down the top of the board and then put the tail pattern on for your jacks um there's the increment, uh, 28 and 7 eighths for the uh, 8 and 12 side, and 15 and 1 16 for the 12 and 12 side. So there's a couple things that are odd here. I didn't use a framing reference, and so Chief didn't line these up correctly because these jacks here should be opposite of these jacks here. 
So then that means, what if I drop a framing reference in here? You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. This is just weird. It should just automatically try to figure this out from here's an end common go this way and this way on layout and here's an end common and go this way and this way on layout these are too close there shouldn't be a close layout here so that's another thing um, let me see if I can fix that with a framing reference oh hang on I gotta come over here Framing reference marker. I don't know where to put this. Because if I put it in, let's say I put it right here. It's going to screw everything up. So if I put it here, where do I put this? Let me try this. Uh, yeah, let's see that. Okay. Um, build framing. Roof. Build roof framing. Use framing reference. And we're doing five and a half, right? Okay. Okay. See, now that's better. They're lined up across from each other. So that means every one of these jacks that you cut here, you're cutting the exact same for this section over here. So you're getting this section and this section, and then you're getting this section and this section, and they're identical. Um, over here, of course, they're two different pitches, so they don't line up across from each other. Uh, there will be a close layout. Now, another thing which would be a nice option in Chief <clears throat> is... Um, disregard the end common as just a it's just an extra set of uh rafters just to hold the top of the hip but in reality you would lay out from here like 16 32 48 64 80 96 <clears throat> so let's see if they did that it would be impressive Come on. Are we not allowed to? What's going on? Point to point. There we go. Oh, look, it did. That's impressive. Okay. So, Chief laid this out correctly. That's awesome. But I told it to build framing, and look what it did. <clears throat> it went back to uh, the wrong length. So I, I just don't, that's not right. And I know there's people that use Chief. They don't care. They're interior designers or they're looking for a pretty picture. I get it. But if the model is not accurate in its framing, then you're going to run into other problems. So how about we, we all shoot for excellence and we get the framing right. Because I'll tell you what. <clears throat> there is software called Solid Builder out of Dubuque, Iowa that can do this. They can actually give you every piece of framing in the roof on its own sheet. And you can just measure it and cut it. And you have a book. And you just cut all those pieces and label them the way they want you to label them. And bam, you're done. So the other problem with Chief, you double-click this. You go into label, specify label, insert uh, object specific. So I need I need length. So let's do length. And then let's do um, let's see what some of these other lengths are. Width type simple number name. Okay, so then they have center line length. We need to see what that is. Hit OK. And we need framing labels turned on. Okay, so what I grabbed here was length. Now, 
is this length along the angle of the 8 and 12? Or is this, uh, let's try this first. Let's go all the way. Oh, you know what we're going to do? Because this is nuts also. We're going to change this to uh, primary format inches because for some reason that's what you get when you ask for the length of these things. And I don't see anywhere where I get to pick what I want. Wow, and that's to the 32nd. So there's got to be some settings that I'm unaware of. So let's try this. We're going to go from there to there. So that would be the longest run. That would be from half span to outside of fascia. And if that's the case, then these are along the slope because they're longer. So now what we need to find out is, uh, I'm going to bust out the build calc on my phone and take a quick, let's see, 164 inch 3 eighths diagonal 8 inch pitch run, 136 and 3 quarter. So, whatever this is, let's let's see what this is. Wow, so that's that's not right. I don't even know what how they even got that. The first one's called length. One sixty four and three. We're gonna check that again. One sixty four inch three eighths. Uh, and that's diagonal and then eight inch pitch run 136 and three quarter all right so that's weird that's off by three quarter I need to make sure some things are accurate here all right so they're calling the overhang over this dotted line and the overhang should be over the face, the subfascia, because when you're going to run soffit plywood, you want it to be like 16 inches because you get three pieces out of a board or, or whatever. But you never, your overhang does not go over the outside of the fascia. Never where I've ever framed. Okay, so there's that. Let's confirm our span. Make sure we're not playing with uh, numbers that are goofy. So there's 240 inches, which happens to be 20 feet. So that's good. And let's check the, whoops, let's check. Come on, man. I don't want that object, I want this. Eight and 12. Okay, excellent. All right. Um. Let's put this one in, 159, that's a weird number, 159 inch and 17 30 seconds diagonal, 8 inch pitch run, 132 and 3 quarter. So let me do this. this, I like using these rectangles sometimes because they're just, they make things so easy. So I just kind of start one and I'm kissing the face of the ridge. Come up over here and I'm going to write in 132.75 enter. And look at that. So this second one, let's look at what we we're talking about here. The center line length for the main common is correct as far as the entire length of the board but still wrong um yeah let's do this make it look a little easier to understand and we'll do it like 50 percent okay there's that one oh i don't want to copy i want to go like this copy in place 
point to point move. So let's do like right here. And then this should actually be this. That's what it should be. Face of ridge to over framing of wall. And we're going to take, uh, you know what? Why can't I show you this here? Um, construction mess. There it is. Here I am talking. Let's just do it here. Oh, uh, yeah. Skip. Thanks, guys. So 119 inch one quarter. <clears throat> That's run. Eight inch pitch diagonal. So the number we're looking for, the real rafter number, is 143 and 5 sixteenths. And let's, I need to convert that to feet so I can see it. It's 11, 11 and 5 sixteenths. Oh, you know what I found? Check this out. The rafter, the low pitch main, 11, 11 and 5 sixteenths. So yeah, that's something I wanted to show you on the AutoCAD one also, is uh, a different numbering system, because it's kind of weird to do fractions. Excel will do them to like sixteenths, but then they won't round down like you know, four sixteenths. That's not even a thing. That should be one quarter. But if you, it's easy to do the math if you break them down into the first column being feet, second column being inches, and third column being sixteenths, and that's how trusses come. So. I've just learned that this works for me and it's easy to write and it's three. You don't have to write the little smaller numbers in the slash and all the other stuff and you don't have to make up little, oh yeah, and it's leave the line or whatever. None of that. You just write three set, three numbers, 623, 623, whatever it is. So feet inches, sixteenths. Um, and so this rafter is 11, 11 and 5 sixteenths based off of all this. So, my run is 119 and a quarter. Yeah, 119 and a quarter, which is 911 and a quarter, which is, let's get that out of the way, the 20 foot span minus the thickness of the ridge. That's how you get the run for the Raptors. So I'm not sure why Chief is using this length here, 159 and 17 30 seconds, um, and telling you that's the rafter. Because if they if they make a cut sheet, um, you can't really trust it because they're not right. They've got their rafter stopping here, but here is actually an, and it's wrong. It's whatever the fascia depth is wrong. So I don't know. This 16 out to here. This it this should be the top edge of this subfascia touching the top edge of here, so that you could take a 16 inch rip of plywood or whatever your soffit is, and stick it in there. We always ripped them like a sh little bit shy, 15 and three quarter or whatever worked just fine. So I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. I want the accuracy. I know people are like, well, it depends on... We, we do updates based on um, how many people comment about a certain aspect of Chief. You know, that's how the voting works. But that's not entirely true because uh, Renee wanted something fixed or changed to the way he likes to use the um, search feature and it got done quick so it just kind of depends i mean i don't think chief really puts a lot of effort into making sure their framing is 100 percent accurate and that's fine you don't have to do that but then don't market that you have cut lists because you don't um just be honest it's awesome if you just want to do pretty 3d models and maybe do some plans for permit where you're not gonna give the information that a builder might want but it'll get you a permit. Hey, super. I've heard people complain, are you willing to take the liability of uh, calculating all that? 
Uh, that's just fear. <laughs> whoever's whoever's blabbing that is doesn't know what they're doing when it comes to framing, and that's okay too. Um, every document that we all create has disclaimers on it for all kinds of stuff. And my disclaimer for this is, if you don't frame these walls exactly to the span that it specs, then none of these numbers work. So it's in your own interest to make sure that the framing exactly matches the plan. And then I can tell you these numbers will work and you will go mucho faster, man. So, um, yeah, I was kind of disappointed when I heard that Chief really was like, well, yeah, okay, sure. Whoever the person was that uh, was answering the, the call. But... I don't know. I'm not going to give up. I want to have, I want Chief to understand the value of, like, here's another thing. Let me dimension to the long point of a jack. Let's see. Where's my dimension key on AutoCAD? There it is. I need to dimension from the face of that to over the wall. And there's my run. And if I've drawn everything the correct size in AutoCAD, then this is my run. And you run, you go this run, 8 inch pitch, diagonal. And it will give you the diagonal of that rafter, and it should be 10 foot 4 and 5 eighths. And we could check that just to prove a point. Uh, clear. And, oh, come on. I need this to unselect. There we go. And we're going to go here. All right, so we're going to go 8 feet, 7 inch, 11, 16, run, 8 inch, pitch, diagonal. So it should be 10, 4, and 5 eighths which is 10, 4, and 10 sixteenths. That's what it sh should be. And let's check it over here. Let me see. Is that that first jack? Oh, you know what? You know what I didn't include? So I set this up to be two pitches, like 8 and 12 and 12 and 12. So... It did the math. Whoops. <clears throat> it did the math for a two pitch hip, but I never included the actual standard hips. So I will dimension one of these real quick, and we'll do it from this end because I have those numbers. Dimension linear. Yeah, that's another thing I need to add. What if? Oh no! You know what? Watch this. I know how to do this. If I just make these both 8 and 12, 8, and then go look at the hip numbers, the first common... Okay, what are we looking at here? Oh, this is up on that raised wall. Should be 10, 4, 10. And where am I at here? Main common. Oh, now we got to do some thinking here. Well, maybe this isn't quite. Yeah, I have to do some more work on this. I'm going to have to make sure that it can also read when the pitches are the same. Because I just went in with a two pitch roof to start that off. And it doesn't seem to be right. This is correct. Because. Okay, hold on. I was in the wrong app. All right. We're going to dimension linear. This will be 16 inches over to it. Come on. Yeah, right here. Yep. And then that's that. And we did the... We did this. So that's correct. So then we can do, let me go like this. 
this one here is eight foot zero and an eighth horizontally. Where's clear? Eight feet zero inch one eighth run eight inch pitch diagonal should be nine seven eight or nine seven nine so it's within one sixteenth I'm gonna say that's a rounding thing so the way somebody's rounding because I got these numbers off my HP calculator and if it's an if it's in like a sixteenth off Let's see what happens over here. If I put this back to 12, I get, oh, look at this. Nine foot seven and nine, first main common jack, right here, first main common jack. How about this first end common jack? Let's check that real quick. Just curious. All right, so let's run this real quick. Clear, clear. Five feet, three inch, five eighths. Run, 12 inch, pitch, diagonal. Seven foot six, exactly. Huh, seven foot, well, look at that. Seven foot six and zero sixteenths. So the AutoCAD one is drawn correctly. So let's go back and check out the chief one. So if I dimension, use point to point, I have to pull from right there and I need it to go to the long point. See, it didn't go to the long point. Did you see it snap? I'm going to turn these off. They drive me nuts. It snapped to, if there was an imaginary line, pew, 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 right there, which is called center line length. So how do I make it? Will it snap to there? No, it jumped to there. I need it to be See how hard that is? I need it to go to the long point. That's how you would measure it. You would cut that compound angle, hook it, and pull, make a mark, put your tail pattern on, go. So yeah, the frame is not right. I'm going to beat a dead horse. I'm just going to do it. Um, I wish Chief would fix their framing because none of these numbers help me at all. And I am willing to work with... Because you know what? They have all this. They have the span. They have the ridge thickness. That means they can run the calculation of dividing the span. After you subtract that ridge, divide it by 2. Now you have the run. Some people call it the calculated run. From over framing to face. So then they can actually give you rafter length and tail length. And they just have to make sure that the overhang is not over the fascia. The overhang is over the outside of the subfascia. So there. That's it. I'm done. I'm going to post this because if they just start getting too long, they just get too boring. There you go.